JC, day two, how you feeling out there right now? Uh, good. You know, we've been getting after it. A lot of teaching going on. A lot of defensive work. Um, really just learning. What do you want to do personally this season? Work more on the outside shot or get to the basket more often? What's most important for you right now? Uh, a little bit of everything. You know, probably the biggest thing. I didn't get the free throw line much last year either. Uh, probably an obvious answer would be, you know, defensively, um, and as well as you know, being more consistent from the three-point line. Who was the rundown of today's practice? A lot of defense again. Um, not much contact stuff, but we're gonna get after the second practice in terms of I think scrimmaging and contact stuff. Yeah, Jordan Luke said that he's really hoping to take the challenge of being that elite defensive player. Yeah. What's been kind of the message with that? To that. Um, he's just been on me, you know, kind of building confidence in it, in myself and, uh, you know, teaching me and, you know, staying on me about really everything defensively, you know, show some film today. Uh, I made some mistakes yesterday in practice, so, you know, it's, uh, it's him just harping on it and, you know, I, I know I could do it, so um, you know, I just got to do it. Yeah, you were pretty self-critical of that, like, the X interview, like, what did you like about what you showed last year? Um... You know, I was just terrible on that end, you know, taking wrong angles. Wasn't there on, you know, like tags, and I wasn't there on late closeouts. Uh, it kind of got to a point where, you know, it was bad. And, you know, we were, we were a bad defensive team in the whole last year, but, you know, I just took it upon myself, you know, to, to really improve on that. James Rowe was saying that his mentality this year is completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, he got he's, he's out here with something to prove, you know, this year. Um, so I think he's, you know, changed his mindset a little bit in terms of that. And uh, he's doing a good job right now. What are things that you've noticed where you kind of say, oh, okay, he's changed a little bit then from last year? Um, you know, just his level of comfortability, you know. Uh, he's very comfortable out here, uh, talking to everybody, getting people in their places, uh, at the same time being aggressive and um, getting shots with people. Are you surprised knowing that Luke came from the Golden State coaching staff? They just don't do so much defense. It's surprising. Nah, I think that's what makes Golden State so good. Um, you know, I think they was might have been top five defensively last year, maybe even higher than that. So, um, you know, that's that's where they held their hat on. You know, scoring stuff is gonna come. And, you know, more stops you get is the more opportunities you get to score. So, uh, especially easy buckets. So that's what we're gonna hold our hat on. There's been a lot of talk about. Uh, Defensive details and giving out those details in terms of these drills. How important is that for a team like you guys that are so young? Well, it's really important, you know, to to put that etch that in our heads early uh, in terms of you know those defensive details, in terms of closing out, bumping guys early, uh, tagging cutters, um, getting over and you know trapping the block and all rotating and movement of the ball. So uh, a lot of that comes into, into play when the season starts and even this preseason. You know, we're going to be learning through this whole process. It's good for us to etch that in us right now, though. How much do those details help you guys understand what didn't work for you guys? Everything. <laughs> Straight up. Okay, on the flip side, Luke was really praising you offensively last year with just how aggressive you were and attacking basket and your work habits and practice. What's kind of your view on those things on, uh, you know, just how it hit off offensively? Um, offensively, you know, I, I feel like I've grown, but I want to play the right way. You know, if I felt last year a lot of times I wasn't playing the right way uh, on the offense, and it would cause me to take tough shots and, you know, field goal percentages go down and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy coaches here preaching, you know, moving the ball and, um, you know, getting easy shots. So, you know, that makes the games a lot easier. Jordan, can you pinpoint what it is that Luke does to make you guys want to buy into what he's, what he's preaching here? Um, himself, um, him, himself, uh, you know, he praises all of us uh, on the court. He's always on top of us. Um, you know, he can relate to us. And at the same time, he's came from, you know, where they want. Um, and he's been around that winning culture, and I feel like he's trying to bring it here. And, you know, we all buying in. Is from, you know, from Golden State? Nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I think he's been losing bets. I think he owes me some money, too. <laughs> he's getting in shape, though, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. 
When he gets down there, that's probably the only time he sweats during practice when he's out to push ups. His head just starts drenching like <laughs> crazy. Is he running laps as well? Or? Nah, we should start making him do that. Maybe during the regular season. <laughs> Job, did you immediately believe in him because you'd seen what the Warriors had done and, and that that equity made you believe in him right away? Or was there something he did early on that, that convinced you this was a guy you were going to get along with? You no, know, I just, I just kind of knew. Uh, you know, when he got hired, I ran around my house for like five minutes. My friends would tell you. <laughs> I think I jumped over the couch like, like three, four times and like in excitement and stuff. So, um, no, it was just kind of one of those things. You knew he was going to come in here bring that culture and uh, bring that style of play and it's fun and you know we're enjoying our time right now and you know we're going to continue to. So it's because of what the Warriors had done that you're so excited or something you um, Just something about Luke, uh, you know just his, you know, his vibe that he brings to, the, to everything, the table.